This is going to be a quick look at the brand new re-release of the Seaview Sea View model from Mobius, the four window version. Um, first change I can see, box art obviously has changed. But also you'll note it says 33.5 inches long. Now the original version of this was longer. It was just under 39 inches. So we'll see, I still have the original one here, so we'll take a look at the length, compare them. In this version they give you a color manual, whereas the other was black and white, still the fold out type, mostly reading what needs to be done. And they did make one change, they made one extra part here that I noticed right off the bat, they give you the Polaris missile which was not in the first kit but they did put this in the 8 wor uh, window version of the Seaview model. The mini sub and the diving bell are still included in the kit as well as the uh, flying sub. The flying sub in the earlier version was molded in yellow plastic. This one here is molded in a light gray plastic. In this model they also included decals, which the earlier version did not have decals. This is a quick mock-up of the new version, and the first big change that I noticed right off the bat is this front part section here used to come in two different versions, and in order to pick one you had to put this in, seam all this in, putty it up, and get it all to flow in naturally. Here they took that option away from you and gave you just this version which is fine by me saves you time and energy on having to do all that extra work and it uh, is supposed to be more screen accurate according to the literature on the forms and here's the other angle of it Display bases are still the same as they were before, as well as the flying sub hatch. Uh, there was made mention on the forms that this hatch would open and close, but this is all one piece like the original version. I don't know how you would get this thing to open and close if you wanted to. That might have been a typo at that point. Another change up is before they gave you six crew members, now they give you eight, but they still only have two officers and six crewmen, all of which are seated. A lot of this interior equipment is very soft on detail. Uh, you'd be better served to get the par uh, paragraphics photo etch of the ladders and, and whatnot to uh, make it a little bit more accurate. The Cadillac fins are still the same as they were on the original version. These are the parts for the flying sub hangar bay. They're all still the same as they were before. This is a look at the control room. The control room is still the same as the original version. They did leave all the same uh, control panels, buttons, and all this is still still on there, which is good because on the flying sub they had removed all this. So, and here's the other side of the control room. There's the flying sub molded in gray, which is different from the first version that was molded in yellow, along with the mini sub and the diving bell. Another change they made to this ship is they put in this key channel slot for the missile bay. I guess that's for the uh, Polaris missile to be launched out of, so that's a new addition. And I just took an overall measurement of this ship. It is at 39 inches exactly. And that is without the Cadillac fins being installed. So the 33 and a half inches that they have listed on the uh, 
box here is a typo. And as I mentioned just a moment or two ago, this section here you don't have to worry about adding in. I happen to find one that I had left over from the first build. This is the piece I'm talking about. On the first version you had to incorporate this cowl piece in here, fill all these seams and do all that extra work. And it looks like the window bays on this one are just a slight bit larger and these are just a little tad smaller which is a I don't know if that's gonna make things worse down the road as far as seeing inside the control room guess you won't know that until you get it built now on the forms uh, they did make mention that this piece here had been revised as well it was made more movie correct I'll compare it to the other uh, first version that I have see what we come up with okay here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the old and the new and the only difference I could see is this flare art part here is more tapered and thinner whereas this one in the back is uh, more broader so they did make a minor change to that the newer version looks a little bit taller in through here whereas this in the back seems a little bit more shallower so they did make changes that's good and they are both 39 inches so they're the same length the Cadillac fins appear to be the same as before no difference the conning tower seems to be the same as before as well no changes there and the propeller shafts are the same no changes there so basically that covers everything that Mobius had changed from the old to new and in closing this is a final look at the front end shot of the ship I don't know if it shows up on camera but this newer version does sit up a little higher because these these for lack of a better term these these dorsal fins here are molded down further than the first version here so it does sit a little bit higher than the first version so that was another thing they uh, corrected on the newer version so all in all another great kit for Mobius this pretty much ends the comparison uh, video until next time, see ya.